The Yankees, looking to clinch a playoff spot with a win in the Tampa Bay loss, sent their trade deadline acquisition Lance Lynn to the mound to get the job done. In the top of the second, he would get some run support. Aaron Hicks, he's been digging the long ball this year. Why not add another? He drives one over the short porch and right, and that was the Yanks' 250th long ball of the season, making them the sixth team in Major League history to accomplish that feat, and the first since the 2010 Blue Jays. Next batter, Luke Foyt, says, I can do better. Take a listen to this. Foyt swings, lives a long drive to right center. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. Wow, what a home run. Foyt hits one to Beloit. Cool hand, Luke. Oh, that point is a droid. That's some world-class wordplay. He's fired up, but it wasn't a perfect day for New York. Top of the third, Gary Sanchez goes out to field the chopper, and he airmails one in the right field. The Orioles played a run. But how about Lance Lynn, the pitcher, making the tag at the plate? We're getting reports that he played some catcher actually in Little League, and he showed it right there. Two frames later, Orioles threatening again. And DJ Stewart drops a single into center field to tie the game. Lance Lynn, who struggled with his command at times throughout this one, needed his offense to pick him up. And when you have the third best group in the league working behind you, usually it does. In the bottom of the 11th, Aaron Hicks, batting from the right side for the first time, pulls one down the line. And with D.D. Gregorius running, it's no question. He scores the walk-off run, and the Yankees clinch a wildcard spot for the second time in two years. 3-2 to two, your final score. Aaron Hicks obviously had the huge day, but don't forget about Miguel Andalhar. He goes two for four and he's really making a case for Rookie of the Year.